गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टिल नाउ यू हैव स्टडीड ऑल द टॉपिक ऑल द कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू ह्यूमन आई सो इन दिस लेसन ह्यूमन आई एंड कलरफुल वर्ल्ड यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सम लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट नाउ ओके एंड दिस पार्ट इज देयर फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन सो प्लीज लिसन दिस वीडियो केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट सो टूडे इज आवर टॉपिक इज refraction of light through prism you are going to study today about the prism now you all have seen the prism okay prism is a glass triangular shaped object okay this is a prism it is used for the dispersion of light means what dispersion of light you have studied in 8th standard about the dispersion of light it is a splitting of light okay and uh, splitting of light it is called as dispersion of light how it splits splitting of light as you all know white color uh, light white light consists of seven colors okay and how you can see this white light uh, splitting of white light this seven colors are already present in the white line just the thing is uh, is uh, what you have to do you have to split it for if you split that white uh, light or if you uh, if the white light passes through such prism you can obtain the seven colors in nature also such splitting you can see that is the rainbow all these things you are going to study in this uh, uh, lesson okay you are going to study about the rainbow also how it is occurring how it uh, how you can see the seven colors all these thing you are going to study but before seeing that first you will see the concept of prism and from this prism you can very nicely understand the concept of our rainbow in the nature okay so this is a glass prism what you here you can see uh, first you will study the concept related to this all angles related to this then i will explain you further first see this is a prism a ray as you you have studied the law of reflection you have studied the law of refraction so now here you can see this pq what is pq it is a incident ray a ray is incident on the prism so pq is a incident ray it enters into the prism okay it enters pq enters from a rarer medium to the denser medium you have studied if a light a ray is entering from a rarer medium to the denser medium it bends slightly towards the normal you can see here now this is a normal i have drawn as you have studied the law of in that uh, law of reflection or refraction you have studied incident ray incident ray reflected ray you have studied and between there is a normal similarly this is a reflected uh, this is a incident ray and i have drawn a normal to that this n and n dash is the normal to this incident ray okay so uh, this as this normal now you can from this normal you can find the incident angle reflected angle or angle of uh, refraction see here this is the incident ray this is the normal so an angle between normal and incident ray is called as angle of incidence okay and where will be the angle of refraction opposite to that means it is uh, it is from the refracted ray and the angle between refracted ray and the normal is called the angle of refraction so this is angle r i have written over here understood this concept till here then this pq is the incident ray when this ray enters into the prism this e and f is the refracted ray here i have written all this part uh, see here p p e this p and e is the incident ray ef e and f is the refracted ray and f and s this f and s is the emergent ray why emergent ray because it emerges out from the prism that's why this ray is called as emergent ray f s is called as a emergent ray now here also an angle is produced for this you can see similarly like here here also i have drawn a normal to this emergent ray as it comes out of the prism here i have drawn a normal as i have told you in mirror also that normal is always perpendicular to the surface here also you can see this is the prism surface and this is Is 90 degree to the prism surface. Here also I have drawn a 90 degree to the prism surface. To this AC surface, I have drawn a normal. Okay, and from this normal, so an angle between normal and emergent ray is called as angle of emergence. Okay, angle of emergence. So angle of incidence, angle of refraction, angle of emergence. You have studied. This is the incident ray, refracted ray, and 
emergent ray so this and this n n dash m m dash both are normal to the two sides this is normal to this side and this is m m dash is normal to the side ac okay so this is the prism and most important thing is this a this angle if you will see if you when you will see a prism always the topmost this angle is the angle of prism okay this angle is always called see angle a is also co always called as angle of prism when you keep a prism and at the topmost angle it is called the angle of prism now here we are going to study more means what we are going to study here you are going to study angle of deviation deviation means how much uh, the angles uh, ray is deviated that angle how you will find now i will show you this is the incident ray okay i am going to extend this incident ray this way okay as you know this this much is there incident ray so i will extend it see this incident ray i have extended okay very simple it is this emergent ray also i will extend backwards so this is the emergent ray from here this i am extending it backwards with a dotted line see what happens at a point it gets crossed at this point it gets crossed and here an angle is formed when you extend the incident ray and when you extend the emergent ray there what happens at one point both gets common or both gets crossed at one point and this angle produced is angle d angle d means it is the angle of deviation okay and here i will give the name here okay this k and this this so i have extended this word and extended this side okay now and the angle formed it is called as angle of deviation understood how the angle is formed you have to just extend the incident ray uh, and you have to extend emergent ray when it join at a point the time an angle is formed uh, is angle d and that angle is called as angle of deviation so so this is the basic concept of the prism means refraction of light through prism this you all should understand okay so on this basis we are going to study the dispersion of light through prism we have studied now you are going to study uh, dispersion of white light through prism now instead this was just an understanding now instead of this pq now if i will take a white light if i am passing a white light the light will enter from this uh, prism and it falls on the screen so what you can see there there you can see the splitting of light white light when enters to the prism what happened it gets splits into seven different colors that you are going to study now the next topic is dispersion of white light by glass prism you are going to study now here see the conditions when the light enters into the prism here it enters into the rarer medium to the denser medium so what happened the light bend away from the normal okay and in this second condition when it comes emerges out it bends towards the normal okay so this is the two different condition you have to keep in mind now what happens see here here what uh, here white light is taken it is prism is kept here white light is passed through the prism it enters from the rarer medium to the denser medium so the light bends little bit okay and then it emerges out while emerging out what happens when it enters here the white light gets splitted into the seven colors you know the all the seven colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange red these are the seven colors present in the white light when it enters into the prism what happens this white light gets split and this white seven colors you can see on the screen this is called a splitting of light and here uh, this uh, splitting of light it follows the law of refraction very important see here splitting it follows the law of refraction which i have explained you here this law it is followed uh, in this uh, splitting okay and because of this uh, law of refraction what happened the light splits into the seven different colors and while sp splitting see the order of the color first upper part you can see is the red color then it decreases and here violet color okay violet indigo blue green yellow orange and here comes the red color like this pattern you can see on the screen why it happens as you have studied this part is the angle of 
angle angle of prism it is okay so because of this angle of prism and you know uh, each color have its own wavelength if you see the violet color it has shorter wavelength and if you see the red color it has most higher uh, wavelength okay red color has the maximum wavelength and violet color have the shorter wavelength so at this condition because of the different color having different wavelengths uh, and because of this uh, law, uh, law of refraction all this comes together and it, uh, there is a splitting means uh, because of this wavelength now you can see violet has shorter wavelength so that's why it falls nearby after that little bit higher uh, blue then uh, violet uh, then indigo then uh, yellow it has like that it goes on increasing and red has the most uh, higher means larger wavelength that's why it comes at the uh, here topmost okay means it is arranged according to the wavelengths and because of the angle of prism and different wavelength of different components of white light so what happened the red get segregated into the seven different colors and this phenomena is called as diff uh, dispersion of light dispersion of white light through the prism okay so this uh, i hope you all have understood this concept still if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you